that woman is like us. Are we supposed to listen to that? No. Mr. Joseph, I heard this story that you're really good at basketball. True or false? Uh, I don't remember, but I used to be all about it. it used to be my identity as a little kid. How little? Uh, pretty little. But then, but then I kept playing after I was little, too. So, actually I actually haven't been in a gym in a really long time. And it just brings back a lot of memories smelling this. Do you smell this? <sighs> yeah. Well, the way I understand it is that you were going to not be an international pop star, but to be an internationally renowned basketball player. Yeah, my, uh, my, my parents didn't, didn't really see me being an international pop star, no. Um, but to be able to go to college, the best way of doing that is getting some sort of scholarship, which, of course, it wasn't going to come from academics. Um, so what about athletics? So a lot of the plan was to get a scholarship playing basketball, and that was, that was actually the case. And uh, I decided to play the piano instead. <laughs> I had to make 500 shots every day before, before dinner. It helped that I was also homeschooled, so it was a part of my education somehow. I went shopping with my mom, I helped her get groceries and then came home and I had to shoot. So that's what I learned growing up. Um, shortly after that I did go to regular school so I learned a lot of the social norms but up until then I had no idea what was right and what was wrong <laughs> other than shooting baskets. That was right or wrong? Uh, it was necessary. So. Looking back on those days is it, do you feel, do you feel some sort of regret, nostalgia, you know, or? Yesterday I was wondering, it was actually just yesterday, I was, I was asking myself, I wonder why I spent so much time playing basketball. I mean, what is it that I've learned in order to be successful at what I'm doing now? What were some of the skills that, I, that I've obtained? Or, or maybe, just, maybe just staying ignorant to a lot of, a lot of things that, that, are, that are found inside of a scene of growing up playing music. You know, I, I wasn't that guy. I was in a completely different scene than the scene that I am in now. I still feel completely, I don't feel like I belong. You know, it, when I walk around and I talk to other guys in skinny jeans, you know, it's like, it, I, I, I still feel like I should be wearing gym shorts. Josh Dunn, does he throw like an infant? <laughs> Josh Dunn is a drummer, and all-around drummer. Also, the nicest guy I've ever met in, the enti in my entire life. Um, can he play basketball? He, he, he can pretty much do anything okay. Like, that's just, he, like, he's athletic. He's got great body control. I mean, the guy, the guy played baseball. The guy played basketball. Um, he played soccer. I mean, he was the, he was the kid who played everything. Um, I was the kid who didn't do anything except for basketball, so I cannot do anything else except for basketball. Josh is fast. <laughs> He's fast. Josh is super aerodynamic. I mean, like... So... But he's, he's not very he's good the at Bugs basketball. Bunny to your Michael Jordan. Right, right. He's that fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.